game one of this three-game series between the White Sox and the New York Yankees. Joe Torre is the skipper for the Bronx Bombers, and here is his lineup for tonight. Leading off at second base, John Knobloch. Batting second at shortstop, he's a good one. Derek Jeter. Paul O'Neill plays right, hits third. Cleanup man is the DH, Bernie Williams. Tino Martinez plays first and hits in the fifth spot, followed by catcher Jorge Posada. Chad Curtis is in center field in the seventh position, hitting eighth and left, Shane Spencer, and bringing up the rear at third, Scott Brochus. 27-year-old left-hander Mike Sorotka on the mound for the Sox. Mike in 28 ball games is 12 and 13, a 5-2-2 earned run average. 221 hits allowed in 179 in the third innings. He has walked 40 while striking out 103. Mike has given up 27 homers on the year. Here's the Sox on defense. Albert Bell in left field. Jeff Abbott is in center. Maglio Ordonez plays right. Robin Ventura returns to third base. Mike Caruso is the shortstop. Ray Durham at second. And Greg Norton is at first. Chad Cooter behind the plate with Mike Sorotka on the hill. The weather in Chicago is perfect. Temperature 75 degrees, humidity at 43%, wind out of the west at 7, and clear and pleasant is the forecast. And we are all present and accounted for. The umpires, Bill Miller at home plate, Greg Kosk at first, Larry Barnett at second base, and Field and Culbreth is at third. Soratka's lost his last three. He was beaten by the Rangers on Saturday, working five and two-thirds, five runs on ten hits, no walks, five strikeouts. Three-run homer by Yvonne Rodriguez did it him in. So we are ready for baseball, and once again, here is the birthday boy, the Hawkeroo. Happy birthday to you, hoo hoo, and I mean that. All right, Whippy, thank you very much, and once again, <laughs> good evening, everyone, and welcome to White Sox baseball right here on Fox Sports Chicago. Chuck Knobloch will lead it off. First pitch fastball popped up right side. Ray Durham moving back, back. Now called off by Max Ordonez. One pitch, one out. Knobloch came in hitting at 261. So the New York Yankees with a record of 99 and 38 here on September 4th. And there's one of the main reasons why. A wonderful manager, but even more importantly, a wonderful person. And he this is the best bunch of guys he has ever been around. Yeah. And he's a good guy regardless of their winning or losing, That's right. too. He's a wonderful person. Here's a wonderful young shortstop, Derek Jeter. Just turned 24 years old, hitting at 335. It's second in the American League. 17 homers. That's the most ever by a Yankee shortstop. And 73 driven in. Four for seven lifetime against the Rodka with a homer. As the count evens at one. This is the ninth meeting of the year between these two ball clubs. Yankees of the first eight games have won six of them. New York with a team batting average of 289, a team ERA of 3.80. There's a nice curveball dropped over. See a nine game hitting streak going for him. 17 for 38. That's good. And there's a pitch that Wimpy was talking about that Mike is going to have to feature tonight. A lot of veterans in this lineup. A lot of good hitters. And when you get good hitters, the better the hitters, the more you got to pitch inside. Full count. Paul O'Neill on deck. 347 down the line, 375 in the gaps, 400 straight away center field. There's a chopper of the two hopper. Caruso on the move. Two gone. So here's the 35-year-old veteran right fielder, Paul O'Neill. Look at those numbers. 315, 19 homers, 101 driven in. A very, very solid and deep well-balanced ball club on the field and on the mound. Good starters, 
good bullpen as there's a breaking ball strike. The Yankees are 46 and 24 on the road. They are 53 and 14. 53 and 14 at home. But when you're 99 and 38, you got to win some somewhere. <laughs> Two for six lifetime against Soraka. Yes, he did. With a homer. And he's down in the count right here, one and two. That's low. And all of us here at Fox Sports Chicago would like to welcome our affiliate, Moultrie Communications, and all our viewers in Lovington, Illinois. Lovington, Lovington yes. We understand Lovington is just a beautiful little town filled with very loving people. According to the mayor, Joe Groove, who would certainly know. That is lovely. <laughs> two and two the count with two out here in the top of the first. Yankees tonight, tomorrow, Sunday. Tigers Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Just off the corner, close, didn't get it. So a full count. I am very anxious to see El Duque work. Me too. Right-handers don't like to see him work. They hit him about 140 against him this year. Payoff. Got him on the outside, he aced him. He'll grab some bench, one, two, three inning, and after having a play as New York nothing. And the good guys coming up. Lighter yet stronger. More power from less space. More space from less size. A drag coefficient among the lowest in the world. There's more than a pattern emerging here. It's the world's first use of cyber synthesis, where vehicles are designed, built, and tested in the virtual world so they'll perform better in the real world. The new Durango and the new Intrepid. New vision from the new Dodge. Amico presents Great Moments in Sports. 50 years ago, Zeke McAdoo invented the victory ritual, the Cooler Dome. In the spirit of this event, Amico is offering this great igloo cooler so you can celebrate life's little victories, like the smooth landing dump, the not-so-awful blind date dump, even the perfect hairdo dump. So hurry to Amico and get your igloo cooler for just $1.99 with four Phillips of ultimate or silver. Zeke, this one's for you, buddy. How can GEICO save you money on car insurance when you buy from us directly? We cut out the middleman. GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. A typical car insurance agent is on the job during regular business hours. On the other hand, GEICO insurance professionals are on the job 24 hours a day. GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Mike Surratt got a 1-2-3 inning in the top half. And here is the lineup that El Duque will be facing. Brought to you by Jerry Manuel, the Sox skipper. Leading off at second base, Ray Durham batting second at shortstop, Mike Caruso. Frank Thomas, DH, is in the third position. Cleanup batter, left fielder, Albert Bell. Robin Ventura is at third in the fifth spot. Followed by first baseman, Greg Norton. Jeff Abbott plays center field, hits seventh, batting eighth and right, Mags Ordonez. And bringing up the rear behind the plate, Chad Cruder. El Duque, or Orlando Hernandez, is 28 years old from Cuba. Looks bigger than 6'1", 90. 16 starts. He is 9-4, and four, a 3-1-5 ERA. And he will come at you at all different angles. 90 hits and 111 and a, and a third. That's good. 39 walks with control is good. And he is punching out just about a hitter per inning. Defensively, the Yanks have Spencer, Curtis, and O'Neill in the outfield. Brocious, Jeter, Knobloch, and Martinez are the infielders. Posada behind the plate, and El Duque on the mound. 
And before we show you our picks to click, you at home, select yours. Earlier tonight, some of the players throwing out some autographed baseballs to some of the young fans as Ray Durham will lead it off, hitting it 289. Slow curveball drops it over. Ray with 16 homers, 55 driven in. And you have got to get past the motion. Orlando Hernandez. That big leg kick, the real knee jerk. And if you're going to get mesmerized with that motion, and it's easier said than done to get by it. Joe Torre in the game room was talking about how he will change speeds on all his breaking stuff. All of a sudden now when he throws you that fastball, it's very tough. Very tough to catch up with. Yeah. He may throw it 88 to 90 miles an hour, but to the eye of the hitter, it'll look 94, 96. Well, that's the secret. Pitching is that ball pounded foul down past Twig, Brian Little. Secret to pitching is throwing strikes and changing speeds. Well, Duque certainly appears. I mean, he just comes, you know, he was a defector. From Cuba, on their national team, he was the man. He was the head kahuna. We got him on the outside corner. Ray didn't care for that one. Well, he's got pinpoint control. And he certainly was given the benefit of the doubt on this one. It was a fastball. Well, there's the third ball. Fastball, a little tardy. Another hook. Fastball out the front of him. And he hits the outside corner. So went out, and here's Mike Caruso. I get 309, five homers, 48 knocked in. Makes first pitch strike. Ball upstairs. Then he's throwing a little harder than I thought he would. He beat the Mariners his last time out. Just two runs in seven innings, eight strikeouts. Three hits. Wow. He jams Caruso right there, popped up into right field. Paul O'Neill. He's a good one. Check out our picks to click this evening. Jim and Jamie and Joe went with Jim Hammond, Limpy, and his entourage went with Robin. Francesco O'Hearn, Greg Albrecht, and myself are going to go with Mike Caruso. Wimpy. What are you multiplying your score or something? Whippy, the season is going to <laughs> close again. And once again, let's just put it this way you are consistent. Over all these years, you're very, very consistent. I'm going to look at the game films starting now. I'm going to look at about 10 a game, 10 a day. Pretty good fastball right there. That evens accounted one. Frank at 256, 25 homers, 89 RBIs. In fact, you might be the most consistent pick to clicker I have ever seen. Thanks. Wow. He just whistled that one right on by him. He's throwing about close to a foot quicker than I thought he would. Hey, he's popping it. That last one, we got it at 91. Look at this delivery. Almost kicks himself in the ear <laughs> with his knee. Oh, that's... I don't have any problem with me. I guarantee you no. that. See, I couldn't have gotten by that motion. Never. I'd been swinging at the motion, man. I might have got a fastball, but he threw me breaking balls. And I'd have screwed myself right in the ground. Amazing. Full count with Albert on deck. Frank in his career, 321 against New York. 13 homers and 55 runs batted in. Outfield playing Big Frank. Straight up. Fastball got it on the fist. 
Boy, Frank is just three for 28 against the Yankees this year, though. One RBI. Woo. Yeah, Bell has done some damage against them. Caruso has done damage. Frank has had a tough go against New York pitching. There's a rocket. Featured that fastball once too often. A bullet down into the corner, so the big hurt will pull into second with his 28 2 bagger. Well, we mentioned how tough El Duque is on right handed hitters. They're batting just 147 against him this season. This time, Frank was real short and quick. Wow, I wish you'd have done that all year on the inside fastball. He cleared that front side and was able to get the head of the bat out front. He hadn't been able to do that very often on good inside heaters. He does right there. Another interesting stat. El Duque has struck out 71 of 184 right-handed hitters faced this year. Wow. That's amazing. No. That's a Randy Johnson type number against left hand. Yeah. So here is Albert at 319, 42 long ones, 126 driven in. Albert against the Yankees this year hitting at 393, five homers in the first eight games with nine RBIs. That's good. Field, straight up spread out for Bell. Breaking ball. Well, if you get somebody who can read a pitcher sitting in your dugout, this would be a good guy to try to pick up something off. By that I mean some sort of a little mannerism, a little quirk out there that'll tell you when he's going to throw the fastball versus the breaking pitch. Now, if you study a guy long enough, most of them, when I say most of them, I'm talking about 90% of the guys. Will give something away. Drops down with a breaking ball. Occasionally you'll run across a guy who you cannot read. I don't care who it is sitting over there. You take all the different angles that he's going to come at you. All the different slants and tilts of the breaking ball, all the different changing of speeds. This guy's probably got nine or ten different pitches. Yes. There's a quicker breaking ball in the count one and two. Much better than one he threw early in the count, which he hung. But a guy like Al Duque with that motion will get away with more hangers than a guy with a standard delivery. What about that shot? Wow. Is that uh, lovely or what? That's your your Learjet coming in for you. One two. Tries to dot the outside corner with a fastball. So he'll work both sides of the plate. Just watching him here in the first four hitters we've ever seen him. Looks like he knows how to pitch up as well. So we mentioned he defected from Cuba with seven others on December 26th of last year. Full count. They were picked up by the United States Coast Guard three days later after landing on the island, Caribbean island of Anguilla K. Rather than accept a visa to enter the United States, he established residence in Costa Rica. Two out, the big hurt at second, and the payoff pitch to Albert. That ball hit deep in the left center field, way back. Spencer looks up. You can put it on the board. Yeah. Looked like a 3 2 get me over breaking ball, would be Exactly. Bell, he gets a good look at it. He's going to hit it out of the ballpark right now. That is his 43rd homer. He continues this unbelievable hitting, especially since the All-Star break. There it is, up and out over the plate. He has now driven in 128. Man. Robin pops it up. Left field, Shane Spencer. 
makes the catch, but the two-run homer by Albert. And we'll go to the second. Good guys on top, two zip. John Lithgow performs the Discover Card Dialogue song. An extemporaneous piece. Provided for your dialing pleasure while you call 1-800-IT-PAYS-2 and apply for your Discover Card, the card with the cashback bonus award that always <laughs> pays you back. That was a nice surprise. And that's music to everyone's ears. It pays to Discover. To apply, call 1-800-IT-PAYS-2. Accepted where you see the Novus sign. Tune to CNN Headline News anytime for a fast-paced 30-minute update of the world. News from CNN. Weather, business and financial updates, sports, entertainment and style. 24 hours a day. Tune in anytime. That's the headline news guarantee. A whole day's news in a half hour. Guaranteed. Brought to you by your neighborhood Ford dealer. Quality people, quality products. If you're between the ages of 45 and 75, the Mutual of Omaha companies have a guaranteed life insurance plan that fits you perfectly. It costs less than a dollar a day, and it's guaranteed in five ways. You can't be turned down. There are no health questions. You don't even have to take a physical. Your benefits will never decrease. Your payments will never increase. And it can't be canceled, ever. Call today for your enrollment packet. 1-800-241-0500. That's 1-800-241-0500. Two nothing Sox, top of the third inning. For the pinstripes, it will be. Curtis to lead it off. He'll be followed by Spencer and then Brosius. First pitch curveball strike from Soratka. Mike has retired the first six in order with three punch outs. Curtis hitting at 252, nine homers, 52 driven in. There's a fastball hit high in the right field. Mags, that's a can of corn. Wow. It's a long can of corn, you know? Yeah, it kept getting longer and longer. Here's the 26 year old left fielder out of Key West, Florida. Three ten, a couple of homers, six knocked in. Fastball just misses. Checking some other scores for you. Cubs leading the Pirates two nothing. Bottom of the six at Three Rivers. Sammy has gone deep, number fifty seven. There's a strike change. Montreal leading the Fighting Fish eight to nothing. That's in the bottom of the seventh. Mets shutting out the Braves two nothing. Bottom of the fifth at Shea. Four one. Phillies over the Brewers. Bottom of the second at County Stadium. Curve ball hit deep in the left field. Albert goes back, looks up. Man, you can put it on the board. So young Jane Spencer gets a curve ball. Cranks out his third homer. that puts on a Yankee uniform is contributing. Well, he went through the first seven hitters and it was the rookie that gets the Yankees on the board. A curveball out over the plate. He'd like to have that one down a little bit more. That was about thigh high and he was all over it. That really wasn't a hanger. No. Brosius pops this pitch up. Ray Durham making the call has the ball. Here's the leadoff hitter Chuck Knobloch. The 
first pitch of the ball game a pop up into short right field. Oh look. On the scoreboard. Happy birthday Hawk of Eris Krista and Casey. <laughs> There's a strike. There he is. Happy birthday, Hawkeroo. Thank what you, you very much. 39, right? Maybe you put a speedometer on my behind. I'm about 79. Well, okay. <laughs> Outside. A lot of curveballs, a lot of sliders. Well, I hope you have 79 more. All right, look at this. The big S and family. <laughs> Cool. Two and one. Also, a lot of missed three footers. In well, I hear you. Now. I know. I understand that. And a lot of right hands that I didn't miss. <laughs> and left hooks. <laughs> understand. Checks it up. in left center. Two balls, two strikes, and two up. You see Knobloch hitting just 240 against left-handers. And we talked about him earlier, how he's moved up on top of the plate, and it's helped him from a power standpoint. Pops him up, jammed him. Durham calling off Caruso. He's there. That'll retire the side, but Shane Spencer's third homer of the year. We'll go to the bottom of the third. Sox by one. Gary Barnett's head. Get inside it. The Gary Barnett Show. Tuesday at 4. So sad. Oh, doubt about that, baby. McGuire. And that's not coming back. Chasing history. See you later. The stretch run for 61. We are there. Fox Sports News. Weeknights. Check local listings. It's fascinating. night away every Friday for 37 years. ComEd. What do you do with your power? Just when you didn't think time could fly any faster, along comes the Dodge Summer Clearance, where you have a limited time to get $1,500 cash back on Dodge Stratus, which lowers your price to $14,000 on this brilliantly designed automobile. Or instead of cash back, buy with low 1.9 financing, which can also save you money. But whichever Stratus offer you choose, please hurry while time is still on your side. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. Healthy hair starts with a healthy scalp. New Total Hair Fitness shampoos help stimulate the scalp and unclog pores for stronger, healthier hair. New Total Hair Fitness for men. Ladder! Everybody scream! The superstar! Joe Stephan. Leading up here for the White Sox. Entertaining the fans, and especially the young fans, here between innings. Boy, he does a wonderful job. Yes, he does. He's getting to be a cult figure, you know? Yeah, he is. He's got a, he's got a big following right now. Bigger than Joe Groves, I believe. Wait till next year when we start contending and packing him in. Boy, he'll have this place rocking. Yes, he will. Mike Caruso. Mike popped up to Paul O'Neill in right field. Mike nursing that very sore right hand. He got drilled in Baltimore. Sidney Ponzone. Is that pitch inside? Actually, Mike, for the most part, walked into it. Yeah. Ponzone was not trying to hit him. The ball was only maybe a couple inches inside off the plate. Yeah, and he throws it in the 90s, so. Look at this. Get up. Yeah. Hello. The play knob block should have made. Meanwhile, he did miss a base hit for Mike. And yeah, great speed aboard. He finds ways to get on and get hits. Watch the gets ball right here in relationship to Knobloch's glove. Oh, yeah. Well, 
Yeah, yeah it, it goes by him on the side. Yeah. Anticipating maybe just a little bit too much right there. Yeah, he overran it. So here's the big hurt. He ripped a double into the left field corner. Takes first pitch fastball high. Albert on deck. There's a strike with a heat. Caruso at first, 20 stolen bases. In 26 attempts. And he's going to get better and better at that. On the outside corner, nice pitch by Hernandez. Rangers leading Minnesota 5 0. Bottom of the third down at the ballpark in Arlington. Later on, Angels host the Royals at the Big Ed. Mike was going to take off right there. Broke it down. Posada and Hernandez having a little problem hooking up on this next pitch. Looks to me like Al Duque's got some real good instincts out there, Wimpy. He's seen a lot of things in his life, I guarantee you that. Yeah. And his pitching profile, fastball 90-92, he'll throw a curved slider and change, but as you mentioned, he'll come from so many different angles and changing speeds that he's got about eight to ten pitches. Whoa. Well, that would have been a good one to go on. Meanwhile, he was not running, and the count two and two. Well, Frank Thomas scored a run in the first inning on the home run, two-run homer by Albert Bell. He has now scored 89. He's driven in 89. So it looks like he's going to keep up that consecutive string of 100-100. Yeah, the only thing that's not going to make it is there as Cruz that takes off. Beside a very quick release, but this time not in time. Solo base number 21 and a full count to the big hurt. Watch how quick he gets rid of this bad pitch to throw somebody out on. Yeah. Oh, Mike, he's running almost uh, on the infield grass right here. But Mike did, Caruso did get a good jump. That one just got away from that. Had some sailing action on it. I'll tell you what, I don't know if he's going to get him with a good pitch. No. Here's the payoff. To the big hurt. Uh oh. On the inside corner. Well, it's a fastball. They said it was on the inside corner. Here's Albert. 3 2, get me over breaking ball, and it left the premises. That ball gets away from Posada. All right. So Caruso into third with one out. That's big. Great RBI chance as you look at the homer. 3 2 hook. Bang. Hanger. At least he hasn't, especially since the All-Star break. And there's that great running catch to diving to his right. Now the Yankees bring the infield in. Ooh. Couldn't get that one. Look at this. This includes tonight. 54 games, 391. 
18 doubles, 25 and 62. That's good. Hawker-esque in nature. Close, close. Robert, Jeez. very young yet. Once he gets a couple more years of experience. Experience. That's popped up into center field. Oh, Mike. Curtis. Oh, he's going to give it a go. Curtis has got a good arm. Here he comes. Here's a throw. Sails away. He scores. The speed of Mike Caruso, and the Sox lead it three to one. Well, first of all, I'm surprised they pitched to Albert Bell in this situation. They went right at him with the fastball. Curtis catches it on his heels a bit, and Caruso got a great jump from third. The Yankees thought he got too good of a jump. But you see, right there, he has to take that one little hesitation. A solid throw by Curtis. But just a little bit late. Look at that slide going to the outside corner. Posada gave him just enough of the plate. Yep. And Mike took it as Ventura stands in. Curveball strike. Well, in the game on oh, Wednesday in Baltimore, Mike was 0 for 2 with two runs scored as the Sox won that ball game 3 to 2. Hit by a pitch, stole a base, he scored. Reached on the fielder's choice, stole another base, he scored there. Yes, yeah, so that'll fall in front of O'Neill. So lately, it seems like every time Mike Caruso gets on the base pass, he crosses home plate. Say, Mike now has scored 71 times in his rookie season. 48 RBIs to go with five homers. And as you mentioned, the stolen base count up to 21 now. Very impressive for a 21-year-old. So here's Norton. He walked, leading off last inning. High and the count two and nothing. Pirates have come back to tie the Cubs at two. Short lead by Ventura. That curveball low. So Norton in good shape here. Well, you know, let him hack right here, Jerry. Takes that one on the outside corner. Jeff Abbott on deck. There's a soft one hopper off the glove of Jeter. Ventura into third. So with two out socks, they have runners at the corners. Just off the tip of Derek Jeter's glove. Good pitch by Al Duque on a 3 1 fastball. Like Jeter was there. Well, he used that great athletic ability, but it's just off his glove. Yeah. Ball had some spin on it. Yeah. Albert Ab Abbott I should say he was called out on strikes Alfield straight up spread out oh got a real good pitch to hit right there and just underneath it tomorrow night Jim Abbott against Andy Pettit on Sunday James Baldwin against Hideki Arabu that's a little bit low the Sox trying to extend their winning streak to their high of the year 
and won four in a row once before. Trying to make it five. Good pitch in on the fist. And our next game coming your way. If you can't make your plans to be here at the ballpark, we'll be with you tomorrow night. It'll be the game room at 5.30, followed by the Sox and the Yankees at 6. Jeff. Breaking ball pops him up. Chuck Knobloch. Out on the grass, he's there, hauls it in. It'll retire the side, but the Sox pick up another one. We'll go to the fourth. They lead it three to one. It's a Fox Sports Chicago doubleheader Saturday. The Sox battle Paul O'Neill and the league's best team at six. And top QBs Brock Heward and Ryan Keeley shoot out in the desert at nine. Doubleheader Saturday on Fox Sports Chicago. Thunder in the city, the bread raisin at half and so pretty. Cool cats bent down, chin chilly, checking out the stats down the new Philly. Hawthorne is the place to go for some of our bread racing and concert shows. Catch thoroughbred racing with live concerts every weekend. It's hot times at Hawthorne. Hawthorne in the city, summer racing in the city. Hey everybody. Time for a Chi Chi's workout. But today, we're not using Chi Chi's salsa. We're using new Chi Chi's salsa. It's a more thick, more zesty, fresh tasting Chi Chi's. Ready? And pull up and down. Pull up and down. Don't forget to breathe. See how it sticks to the chip? Now add the drink. So don't just sit there. Eat something. New Chi Chi's. The new taste really works those abs. A lot of industry experts told us that the passenger side was the best place to add a third door. We got still more advice insisting that the driver's side was the only logical choice. But as you can see, we let it all go right in one ear and out the other. Introducing the new Dodge Ram Quad Cab. The rules have changed. 3-1 good guys here in the top of the fourth inning. And a reminder for the best coverage of fairways and buckers in Chicagoland and beyond, visit the golf scene. For this month, visit Flying Creek Golf Course and also go inside the wacky world of Rocky Thompson. That's the golf scene Sunday at 11. Fox Sports Chicago, it's must-see TV. So Derek Jeter is going to lead it off for the Yankees here in the top of the fourth inning. Derek grounded the shortstop his first time up. Mike Caruso taking care of his counterpart. Soratka delivers a fastball right at the knees outside corner. Outfield against Jeter. They swung around the right. Big gap in left center between Albert Bell and Jeff Abbott. See the way the Sox line up against the all-star shortstop. There's a one up the middle. Nice job by Soratka. Knocks it down. He lobs it over the first base for the first out. Okay. He got jammed a bit right here. Mike makes contact with his glove. Keeps it right there on the mound and throws him out. Here's Paul O'Neill. He was called out on strikes on a good fastball by Soratka in the first inning. Breaking ball strike on the corner. Now O'Neill, the good power to all fields, against the left-hander, the Sox are playing him to hit the ball the opposite way. No, he's just a good solid hitter. That one misses outside. One and one. He's one of the most underrated hitters in the league. Oh, yeah. 
And Bernie Williams, his teammate, is one of the most underrated players. And that's hard to believe coming out of New York with all the media coverage they have. Why is that? Well, the pitchers have been grabbing all the headlines for the most part in New York this year. Oh, Abbott come coming on. on. Mike is there. Ball caroms off his glove, hits Abbott, I believe, in the side of the face. So that'll be a double. Boy, Caruso had to go a long, long way, as did Abbott had to go a long, long way. You couldn't have thrown it out there. Watch the glove hat. Caroms off Caruso onto Abbott. I didn't get him in the face, yeah. thank goodness. Yeah, you see Mike anticipating a collision right there. Didn't quite get fully extended on that ball. I got it maybe in the collar ball. It's a tough break for Soratka right there because he did have O'Neill way out in front of that breaking ball. Oh, it's a good pitch. Well, when you got an out that you have to have, these Yankees, you just can't give them any extra chances. So here's Bernie Williams. He was called out on strikes on a fastball, leading off the second inning. Bernie came in hitting 355 right handed, 340 on the season. So he's got a runner in scoring position right now. And the Sox will play him straight away in the outfield. I generally generally acknowledge as having more power from the right side of the plate is that pitch taken inside. One and oh. Bernie has hit eight homers batting right handed this year. Nine. No, he's hit nine. Oh, my. Lord have mercy. We are tied at three. As we mentioned, one of the most underrated players in the game. There's a fastball. Went it on the outside part, drifted back over the middle. Last year, remember how much how devastating he was on the right side of the plate? Oh, yeah. He's at about 400, I believe. Here's Tino, takes the breaking ball up high. So the Sox are going to have to regroup once again as this ball game is tied. The Yankees, well, they've been doing that all year. There's a strike on the outside corner. One and one to Tino. Out in front. Good curveball. Taken for a strike. Martinez batting 262 against lefties. He has homered seven times against Southpaws this year. And the Sox are playing him the opposite way. A big gap in right center. There's a grounder. One hopper Robin throws him out. And there's two gone. And if you're going to be in town tomorrow, come celebrate Labor Day weekend with the Sox. Come early to see the White Sox take on the Yankees. Then stay late and enjoy post-game fireworks. Game time 605. For tickets, call 312-831-1 Sox. Jorge Posada is the hitter. He struck out his first time up. Called out on strikes on a fastball from Mike Saratka. Curveball strike at the knees. So two homers given up by Mike in this ball game. One on a fastball to Bernie Williams and one last inning to Shane Spencer on a curveball. Outfield straight up for Posada. Good fastball strike. Down 0-2 now in the count. 
Posada hitting 361 right handed this year. Oh, wait, that's 381. Sheesh. Yes, sir. Right on the outside corner, and that'll do it. Soraka gets his fourth strikeout with a two run homer by Bernie Williams, and after three and a half, we're tied at three. Southwest Airlines, with fares so low, you have the freedom to go places and do things you never thought possible. Fly Southwest Airlines. Flying to the New England area for business? If these 12 reasons don't convince you to fly Southwest Airlines to Providence or Manchester, maybe this will. Call 1-800-I-FLY-SWA. You are now free to move about the country. What makes Carter Lumber customers different? Well, that's easy. Just one look tells the whole story. Whether it's a seasoned professional contractor or a weekend do-it-yourselfer, it's easy to see that unmistakable picture of satisfaction, especially if they're building something really big. Carter Lumber, the easy way to home improvement. The easy way to insulating and roofing systems is with Owens Corning, available at Carter Lumber. The Dodge Summer Clearance is one of those rare occasions when time flies even faster than usual, meaning that you should hurry in to get $1,000 cash back on Dodge Avenger, which lowers your price to $14.9 on this exceptional-looking sports coupe. Or instead of cash back, select extremely low 1.9 financing, which can also save you money. But whichever Avenger offer you choose, don't delay, because time won't be on your side forever. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. Bottom of the fourth inning, we are tied at three. Good ball game here tonight. Three homers already. Albert Bell for the Sox, a two-run shot. Bernie Williams, a two-run shot, and Shane Spencer. Solo job for the Yanks. First pitch strike to Maglio Ordonez. Mags walked in the second inning. 282 hitter as he stands in. 12 homers, 61 RBIs. That pitch up and in. Once again, they're straight up in the outfield for Mags. That's down low. Big game for the New York Mets tonight. Tom Glavin, Glavin going for his 19th win is 18 and 5 against Al Leiter, who's having a great year, 13 and 5 for the Metropolitans. And the Mets lead that one 2-0 in the seventh. Drive to right field, O'Neill. Going back on the warning track in foul ground. Makes the catch. Wow, good job by O'Neill. If he gets to it, he will catch it. And our Southwest Airlines Trivia Trove question. How many times have the White Sox won 100 games or more in a season? Now that is just season, right? once has a strike at the knees now the 83 ball club won 99 games and won in the playoffs so that doesn't count there's a grounder up the middle good sinker knob block charging gets it on the short hop and throws them out good play by the Yankees second baseman. And Discover Card will donate $500 to the local chapter of the Make-A-Wish Foundation for every White Sox Grand Slam in tonight's ball game. Ray Durham is 0 for 2. Curveball strike. 
Ray now seven for 35. That's 200 against the Yankees this year. Just 220 hitter against New York in his career. Oh boy, he turned that one over nicely. Okay, well, looks like he's getting better movement on his pitches right now from the, from the first couple of innings. Look at that. That's tough. It's kind of like the movement I was expecting is that curveball misses down low. Here's the one two. Fastball grounded up the middle. Knoblock knocks it down. And there's not going to be a play. So Durham is safe. Base hit. Well, that hit him right on the heel of his glove. Yeah, it should be a hit. Tough play. Certainly we've seen Knoblock make it in the past. So speed at first, and of course speed at the plate, and Mike Caruso. Well, what we've seen from El Duque is that he does have a decent move over to first base, but once he starts coming to the plate, he takes a little time unloading. He does have some help in the quick release and quick feet of Jorge Posada. Mike takes a strike right there on the inside corner. Brocious way in on the grass at third. Trying to take away the bunt from Caruso. He doesn't go and he pops that one just above the locker room. Caruso had a stolen base. Moved to third on a wild pitch and then scored on the sacrifice fly on this very close play. Albert Bell getting the RBI. And that ball was a very short center field. Oh, yeah. Albert now with all three RBIs tonight, 129 on the year. There goes the runner, Mikey. He wasn't going to throw out Durham right there. No. He fought that one off. Ray had that base right in his back pocket. Well, Durham retreats. 31 for 38 and stolen bases on the year. Mike right on top of that plate. Coming in, misses. There goes Durham. The throw not in time. Backed up by Knoblock. So Durham at second. And Ray gets his 32nd stolen base. Yeah, he wasn't going to throw him out, even with a perfect throw. Ray just kicks it. I love to watch Ray run. He's fun, isn't he? Man, he gets going in a heartbeat. Whew. Posada rushes right here. And Jeter can't come up with that low throw. Well, we can get Mike Cameron back on track, which I'm sure will happen next season. All of a sudden, you put Durham. Russo and Cameron in there. You're looking at a whole bunch of stolen bases. Yeah, you love to see those guys hitting back to back. There's a little looper. Easy play for Brocious. Makes the catch, and that'll do it. Sox fail the score, and after four, we're still tied at three. White Sox baseball is brought to you in part by the AIG Auto Insurance Program. With AIG, safe drivers save money. It's that simple. At AIG, one of our jobs is ensuring your favorite Major League Baseball teams, the airlines they fly on, and the stadiums they play in. AIG ensures the hot dogs and the satellite broadcasting the game. AIG even ensures the gloves, the bats, the balls, and fortunately, the cars and the lot. The AIG companies. Ensuring your work, your life, your world. To see if you can save money on your auto insurance, call AIG at 888-AI.
Academy Award-winning entertainment is on Media One Pay-Per-View. Goodwill Hunting gives movies a good name. This boy's genius is on a parallel. I've never seen anything like it. Winner, Best Original Screenplay and Best Supporting Actor, Robin Williams. They need someone who can get through to them, like me. Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, Minnie Driver. I love you. You'll love this movie at home on Pay-Per-View. Just let the healing begin. Goodwill Hunting. Media One Pay-Per-View delivers quality entertainment right to your home. You can advertise in the newspaper, but your message may not get delivered. You can advertise on the radio, but what you say may not be heard. But if you really want to reach out and grab them, take them to the edge and watch your business soar. Advertise on local cable on the Sci-Fi Channel. There is no other destination. Together, we will deliver. White Sox Baseball on Fox Sports Chicago. We are back at Comiskey Park. It's the top of the fifth inning. Chad Curtis is going to lead it off for the Yankees. They have three hits off Mike Sorotka. Unfortunately, two of them have gone out of the ballpark. There's a curveball strike. Sox with six hits off Al Duque. Orlando Hernandez. Change in the dirt. One and one. Curtis, the former California Angel, Detroit Tiger. And now Yankee. There's a good strike on the inside corner. Chad, now 29 years old, from Marion, Indiana. That's right, he played a little bit with the Dodgers, Cleveland, and then New York. Pitch in the dirt. Curtis coming into the season, a 267 hitter. Let's see what he's done against the White Sox in his career, 253 with 6 and 32. That went off to the right. Two and two on Curtis. Atlanta's put a run on the board. They now trail the Mets two to one in the bottom of the seventh inning at Shea. Fastball pops that one foul out of play. Jammed him. Sox fans, you can sign up for your chance to win a 1998 Chevy Venture minivan in the Chicago Tribune. Drive it out of the park sweepstakes. Entry forms are available throughout Comiskey Park and at Comiskey Park's box office. Another foul ball. So Curtis giving him a battle. Very tough, competitive player, Chad Curtis. High fastball, Tomahawk to center field, but Jeff Abbott had him played perfectly. A couple steps back and a hang with him for Curtis. Here's our Southwest Airlines Trivia Trove question and answer. How many times have the White Sox won 100 games or more in a season? Once. 1917, 154. Well, if you had, if you guys hadn't got off such a bad start in 83. Yeah. Man, you might have won 110, 111. Could have. Oh, well. Stuff happens. Here's Shane Spencer. He got a curveball and ripped it out of here. Solo homer in the third. I would say he won a 
thrown that pitch. Looks like he's diving in. And that pitch out over the plate is right in his wheelhouse. We gotta find out if he can hit an inside fastball. Chances are no. Not with that approach. It looks like very Chances difficult. Chances are no. Well, you can you can. 98 percent of the hitters in this league cannot do anything with an inside fastball. So if hit it hard, foul. If they hit it hard. Yeah. Well, it's three and zero oh right here, and he walked them on four pitches. One walk, four strikeouts for Mike tonight. Scott Brosh is the number nine hitter. He's batting at 294, 17 homers, 83 runs batted in. What a year. Best year in the major leagues. Last year he hit like 210 for Oakland. But a very good trade for both teams. Oakland got Kenny Rogers, who's having a terrific year for him. And Scott Brosh is, of course, playing great for the Yankees. 356 with seven homers against left handers 277 with 10 long ones against the righties. Brocious grounds this one foul on a changeup. Looking for two on the ground, although Brocious runs very well. Fastball in. Big fairway out there in left center. There's Chuck Knobloch on deck. Nope, three and one. century mark fastest to 100 wins the major league record is 1906 Cubs 100 wins they were 132 wow AL record of Cleveland Indians they won it in 140 games and the Yankees this year have won 99 in 137 games there's a jam sandwich look at this base hit Spencer will hold up at second so Brocious The one out single, so here comes New York once again. Got in on him. A little duck snort in the center field. Not a whole bunch you can do about that. Nope. There are a lot more hits right there than there are off the end of the bat, trust me. Absolutely. So here's Knobloch. 0 oh, for 2, a fly out and a pop up. Curveball strike on the outside corner. Well, you remember when Knobloch was with the Twins? Well, he had that great opposite field stroke, but he wasn't hitting for much power. Now, he's got 17 homers in that Yankee uniform, but he has definitely moved on top of the plate. And he's batting low, less than 240 against lefty. So your approach, Hawk, of staying away from the plate, driving the ball to right center, seems like that that part of hitting is kind of hurting Knobloch a bit, being on top of the plate against a left-handed pitcher. is taken away from what he used to do very strong. Well, he will hit more home runs like he has. As evidenced by those 17. But he's not going to get as many base hits. Not off left-handers. No. Off right-handers, it's all right. Yeah. See his hands almost directly over the plate. Comes inside, misses with a 90-mile-an-hour fastball. Oh, well, be there just as we mentioned. Just not that many guys can handle a fastball in and hit it hard and keep it fair. Probably the last two real outstanding fastball, inside fastball hitters to play in the game. Andre Dawson and Ryan Sandberg when Ryan was in his heyday. Yeah. 
He was That's a true. devastating inside fastball hit. Oh, yeah. And he could keep it fair. Yeah. You look around the league right now, I would say, uh, you know, the Yankees don't have anybody that's a real good inside fastball hitter. Garcia Parra of Boston, uh, he's, he's, he's decent. Yeah. He is decent. But still, if you get him in a situation where you got to get him out, that's where you got to try to get him. Absolutely. Maybe the best in the league is Edgar Martinez against certain pitchers. Yeah. He got him. Throws the fastball right by him. So Knobloch goes down. He is 0 for 3. There you got that one a good spot. But he also had busted him inside with the fastball. And when you do that, even though if you don't get the strike, you still are making the hitters move their eyes. And that is key. In order, secret to pitching. Throwing strikes, first pitch strike, throwing strikes, changing speeds, making guys move their eyes, and making them move their feet. Well, there's two outs now. It's not going to be easy. Derek Jeter, the hitter. Here's another guy who just loves to fall out over the plate. He fights the inside pitch off. Jeter hitting at 333. Derek go for two, a couple of ground outs in this game. There's a change up, misses down. Now, this young man, you just got to move the ball around on oh. him. And you got to keep the ball in in spots like this. Now, he's going to get some flares and some duck snorts on you. But he's just a real solid hitter. You can see he's further off the plate than Knobloch. He likes to dive. But for a young man just turned 24, he does a great job up at that plate. Oh, yeah. 365 is what he's hitting against left handed pitching this year. So his approach is very solid off the plate, generally hitting the ball to right center. There's the pitch inside. And Derek Jeter is hitting profile. He's now becoming a much more effective power hitter with those 17 long ones. Outstanding still to the opposite field. He really competes when he's bad. He, you just never see him give up an at bat. No, he's going to go as hard at you as anybody in this league. Now you can knock him down. You brush himself up and you're just better off there. not knocking. Him. Yes, you're better off leaving him alone. Yeah, it appears to be that way. As we mentioned, you got to throw him inside. Ooh, gets by Cruder. And the runners are going to advance. Well, that was close to being a strike if it wasn't. Now they called it a ball. It's three and one. Man. That's definitely a pass ball. So two runners in scoring position for Jeter. And the three one pitch coming. Ooh, got a fastball where he likes it. He slashes it into the crowd. And those helmets will come into good use. Comed helmet night. Thanks Comed. For tickets call three one two. 831 one socks. 831 one socks. Wimpy, I would suggest you take yours with you Everywhere. on the golf course. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll have it out at Seven Bridges tomorrow with my. Bring one for me. <laughs> <laughs> Playing with you. Thank you. Yes! He got him on the outside corner of fastball. Strikeout number six for Soratka. They strand two and we're halfway home. Tied at three. We are here. We are there. You are everywhere. He's on fire. Call the fire department. From morning to prime time. Get the first word, the last word, and everything in between. It's 
it's all this fall on Fox Sports Chicago. Home teams, Fox Attitude. How do you know when the Dodge Summer Clearance is here? Because time really starts to fly. And you have a limited opportunity to buy a Dodge Ram starting at 15-2. Or lease this Dodge Ram for a remarkable $219 a month. But either way, you get the only truck that has won Strategic Vision's Total Quality Award for four straight years. So hurry in today while time is still on your side. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. Eternity, Doc and Wiener. Doc, we're on our way. I'm fine, but my husband's not breathing. Tell him, breathe in, breathe out. There's a new cellular service from Ameritech that's so clear, it's like you're there. Another dad down in the waiting room. Give him some air. I'll see you soon. Thanks, Doc. Virtually no static or interference. Clear path. So clear, it's like you're there. Now get a free phone and 300 minutes for only $45. All right, now it's time to check out our game summary brought to you by all the greater Chicagoland Dodge dealers. Albert's 43rd homer, a two-run blast in the first inning. Freddie Williams hit his 22nd, a two-run shot in the fourth. We are tied at three. 3-4-0 three, for the Bronx Bombers, 3-6-0 for the good guys. And for the Sox here in the bottom of the fifth inning, it'll be Thomas Bell and Ventura to face El Duque. I love the moon. Frank one for two that first inning double he hammered it. Orlando Hernandez kept pumping him aside with fastballs like he's going to do right here. No he misses low and away in the count one and oh. Toronto defeats Boston 12 to one at Skydome. Blue Jays down an eight game winning streak. Gee. I think they're nine games over 500. It's a heck of a year for Toronto. Cleveland 10 Detroit one bottom of the seventh at Tiger Stadium. Got in on him right there. Texas six, Minnesota one, top of the sixth, down in Arlington. Later on, Baltimore at Seattle, Kansas City at Anaheim, and Oakland hosts the Devil Rays. Top of the ninth inning at Three Rivers, Cubs and the Pirates are tied at two. Montreal shuts out the Fighting Fish eight to nothing as there's a fastball strike. Bottom of the eighth at Shea, two one Mets over the Bravos. Top of the fifth at County Stadium, 6-1 Philadelphia. Cardinals leading Cincinnati 2-0. Bottom of the fifth inning in St. Louis. San Diego 4, Colorado 1. That's in the bottom of the second out at Coors Field. That's up high. Later on, the Dodgers host the Giants, and the Diamondbacks are hosting the Astros. And yes, Sammy has gone deep if you're just tuning in. Number 57. Full count to the big hurt. That's ball four. So the dreaded leadoff walk. Frank, how many eight walks? Wow. That's a fourth walk issued by Hernandez. He walked three in the second inning. Albert, all three ribbies. Now has 129. Jammed him, got the fastball in on the fist. Not block. So here's Robin. Robin one for two, a single.
and in. 28 year old right hander Orlando Hernandez. Tino playing behind Frank. He tries to backdoor him right there with a curveball. He misses. Tino now calling over to El Duque. Hey, give him a look. Make him stop. Like on that last pitch, Frank was looking to run. That's inside in the count three and oh. Turn him loose. Why not? There's a strike. Right at the knees. It's a good pitch to hit right there. Low fastball. Yeah, down and in. Frank, maybe looking to run. There he goes. That ball hammered with foul. Right size. Wrong shape. Oh, good swing though on that 3 1 fastball. He got it out there. Take your best cut when you're in the driver's seat. Robin, look where that contact right out front. That back heel off the ground, that head very still. I want the fastball in. There goes Frank. And that's ball four. So two walks this inning with one out, and that'll bring up Greg Norton. has walked and he has singles. Curveball, good one. Boy, he's got such an unusual arm angle on that curveball, and yet he has the ability to stay on top, even when he gets out to the side. So you get some downward movement. A lot of pitches, though, 98. Turns that one over, sinks it low and away. That evens the count at one. And another good crowd. Boy, a lot of energy. The one one. That's outside. Oh. it up did he go he did not so big pitch right there boy huge difference three one or two two three six and over the Sox three four and over the Yankees first of this three game weekend series with New York and here's the three one that's low ball four and that will load him up Second time in this ballgame, he has walked three in an inning. Mel <laughs> 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 
Stottlemyre. Going to go out. It appeared he was upset with that 2 1 pitch to Norton. He did not get it. He thought he had swung at it. So he is out to try to settle him down, give him something very positive to think about. Activity down in the Yankee pen here is the right hander, Romero Mendoza. He's not too shabby. Packed with socks, and here's Abbott. Called out in the second, popped up to second in the third. Come on, Jeff. Pretty good pitch right there by El Duque. And Jeff had a great approach to it. He was trying to line that one in that gap in right center. Breaking ball, no. Good eye right there. Real good eye. Boy, it's tough to lay off that pitch when you're down 0-1. Yeah, it is, especially in a situation like this. High tiring fly ball in the left field. Shane Spencer. Big Frank is tagging. Spencer trying to get in shape. That won't get him. He'll score, and it's a 4-3 Sox lead. RBI number 29 for Abbott. Well, three walks and a sack fly. Tries to come inside with a fastball. Didn't quite get there. I'll tell you what, Jeff was just a hair off of this one. It's a deep enough to left field to score that run. Like Shane Spencer. Does not, does not look like he has a good throwing arm. And it looked like he almost bobbled that one. So here's Mags. Lays off that sweeping, breaking pitch, low and away. 4 6 and 0 for the Sox, 3 4 and 0. For the pinstripes. Flares that one foul and will be out of play. Robin is second, Norton at first. A little looper and the left center field. Spencer is there, makes the catch for the Sox. Break the tie, coming up with the run on no hits. No errors, two left. We'll go to the six. They lead it four to three. There's an island where the waters are still, where the only thing you have to do is lie on your back, watching the waves rush in and out all day you'll need to go to recover after you return from our trip enter the heineken seek a true adventure sweepstakes and you can win a trip to costa rica thailand mexico or south africa and while you're at it you might want to book your recovery vacation the new Fox Family Channel is giving it all away. Win $100,000 for your dream house, a Florida vacation, or over a 1,000 other prizes. It's the Getaway House Giveaway. Here's how to win. Pick up your entry form at Wendy's, and while you're there, try the freshest taste around, fresh stuffed pitas. Find the mystery character in one of our new shows, write it down, and mail it in. Play to win in the Getaway House Giveaway. Hurry, the giveaway's gone September 15th. Go to Wendy's today and watch Fox Family Channel. Camping again. It's so boring. 
For camping year-round that you and your kids will love, visit Fitzpatrick's Yogi Bear Jellystone Park Camp Resort in Millbrook, Illinois, just 50 miles west of Chicago. Call for information and reservations. 1-800-GET-YOGI. That's 1-800-438-9644. Now that's camping. Can we come again soon? Going to the top of the seventh inning, Jorge Posada is going to lead it off for the Yankees against Mike Soratka. 3-5-0 for the Yanks, 4-6-0 for the Sox. That was a strike. Ball tried the back door and misses. One and one on Posada. The more you see this guy, the more you like him. Yeah. Two strikeouts so far tonight. For well, George. Mike's made some good pitches on him. Yeah. Hands up high. Ooh, really good pitch right there. Ooh. He he's got his hands high and he keeps them there which is more conducive to a shorter, quicker swing. Grounded a shortstop, two hopper, Mikey. Over the top, yes. The big Aussie warming up in the Yankee bullpen, Graham Moy. Chad Curtis, the hitter. Chad over to a fly to right and a line out the center. Boy, he hit that last one real hard. Jeff Abbott made the play. They are playing him the hit, almost like a left-handed pull hitter. Change up misses down and away. Well, the Mets prevailed over the Braves. There's a line on Mike. Six in the third, five hits, three runs. One walk, six strikeouts. Oh, Bobby Valentine must be having nightmares. All the games they've blown in the ninth inning this year. Yeah, Franco had that one bad stretch there. Every oh. time he went out, I mean, coughed it up. Close. I bet you they've lost more ninth inning games than anybody in baseball. No, I don't think so. Yeah. No, you got to go to Seattle and look for there. Oh yeah, well maybe so. Let's go <laughs> National League. Yeah, Seattle, yeah, they blew us. Did they ever blow some games? They put Boston on the map early on, didn't they? They gave them their start, and they have not eased up. There's a good strike on the outside corner. Two and two. Shane Spencer is the on-deck hitter here in the seventh inning. One out. Oh, jammed him. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's Abbott. Good jump by Jeff. And he got there. Ray Durham couldn't get out in time. So, Curtis is denied. Good concentration here by Abbott looking that ball into his glove. You can see he's in very shallow center field. So here's Spencer, had a solo homer back in the third, hitting at 333. Pitch misses away. And Spencer, you know, you look at his minor league numbers, it's a little trouble, jam too. shot in the right, that's gonna fall, wow. So he's two for two with a walk. Jeff 
Jeff Nelson, a big, boy, there's a couple of big guys right there. Jeff Nelson and Graham Lloyd. 6'8", six, 6'7". Six, Two out for Brocious. Look at Spencer, he's just a 270 career minor league hitter. A little thump, though. 30 homers last year, yeah. Chad Bradford. A submarine. submarine. Right-hander warming up in the Sox bullpen. There's a good fastball strike on the inside corner. Chuck Knobloch on deck. that curveball at home plate. Now bust him inside with a fastball. Brocious is one for two. He's hitting 296. Fastball away. Just fouls that one off to our right. Cincinnati is beating St. Louis three to two in the seventh inning at Bush Stadium. This big mark we'd have heard if he had gone has gone deep. Where do you think Joe Group would keep it from us? Maybe. Maybe he wants to be the only one knowing. Got him! Fastball up and out of the zone. Rocha strikes out. That is number seven for Sorotka. We go to the seventh inning stretch. Sox lead it 4 3. Fox Sports Chicago brings you this Geico Direct Moment. Let's be direct. Sox are playing a pretty good team in the New York Yankees. Trying for their 100th win tonight. If you play a squad like this, you cannot make mistakes. Early in the year, Jamie Navarro walks someone, and then you've got the wild pitch. So against a team like the Yankees, number one, you can't give them four outs, and number two, you've got to execute. There are other ways to reduce your car insurance premiums instead of calling GEICO. <laughs> GEICO Direct. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Hey, everybody. Time for a Chi-Chi's workout. But today... We're not using Chi Chi salsa. We're using new Chi Chi salsa. It's a more thick, more zesty, fresh tasting Chi Chi's. Ready? And pull up and down. Pull up and down. Don't forget to breathe. See how it sticks to the chip? Now add the drink. So don't just sit there. Eat something. New Chi Chi's. The new taste really works those abs. Stretch here at beautiful Comiskey Park. Sox lead it four to three. Four six and zero oh for the good guys. Three six and zero oh for the Yankees. And a pitching change for New York. The big right-hander Jeff Nelson, six foot eight out of Baltimore, Maryland. Five and three, two saves, 4.54 earned run average in 36 games. He has given up 43 hits in 33 and two thirds. That's high for him. 19 walks, 26 strikeouts for Nelson.
We all know that he is very tough on right handed hitters. And you can be part of history this week by watching Fox Baseball Saturday when Mark McGuire can reach the magical 61 homer plateau. Cardinals take on the Reds at Fox Saturday Baseball. Coverage begins at noon on WFLD Chicago or your local Fox station. The big hurt Frank Thomas will lead it off. He doesn't like Jeff Nelson. Hadn't had a whole bunch of luck against him. Three for 21. Talking with Frank about Jeff last year in New York. He said he just does not pick up the ball off of him. Same way as he didn't pick up the ball very well off Mike Timlin, reliever for Toronto and now Seattle. It happens. You get guys out there, you just cannot pick it up. First pitch, fastball strike. Good fastball from Nelson. I think it has something to do with the motion. You just can't get by it. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Breaking ball strike in the count of one two. Now feel straight up. Spread out. The big Frank. There's a breaking ball. Got that one up. 19,876 in attendance tonight. There's a Hello. breaking ball hit hard in the center. Curtis is there. Well, there's a good at bat for Frank and a hang with him. He smoked it. Yeah, he got that up just a little bit about thigh high. And a good jump by Curtis right here. Read the ball off the bat very nicely. Here's Albert, that two run homer in the first. If you're just tuning in, is 43rd of the season, a sacrifice fly in the third, and he popped up to Knobloch in the fifth. Pretty good rip of the fastball right there. Albert, five for 18 lifetime against a 6 8 right hander. Albert having some kind of year. Albert also, those five hits, two of them have stayed in the park. Albert right on top of the plate. Want the fastball in. That's where they're going to try to get it. Oh, he just missed that. He just, he is hot. I don't blame you, Albert. He just, he was all over. Uh, Two gone. Watch this. Well, that pitch right at the top of the strike zone. Yeah. So Nelson does his job. Frank Rockwell or Joe Torrey out to the mound. Yeah. And it's going to be a big southpaw, Graham Lloyd from Australia coming on. As our Ameritech first call to the pen, and we'll be back. England, it's the home of football. The home of history. The home of passion. And it's coming. Oh, wonderful, wonderful goal! You can get live coverage of English Premier League soccer Sundays only on pay-per-view. And you won't miss a single pay-per-view match with the season package available now. English Premier League soccer live only on pay-per-view. Call your local cable or satellite provider. Jonathan Glasper and my daddy Sarah Glasper, Mr. Home Improvement. He runs Payless Windows, one of the fastest growing home improvement companies in the Midwest. Right, Dad? 
right. At Payless Windows, we're your home improvement specialist. Whether it's vinyl siding, aluminum wrap, room addition, soffit, facial, or windows, we do it all. Payless Windows does all the work using the highest quality material and a five-year labor warranty. So call my dad for a complete estimate. Payless Windows, where you truly pay less. Right now, let's check out our Dodge drive of the game coming back in the very first inning. Two out double by Thomas, and then Albert Bell at the plate. Three two breaking ball from El Duque. You can put it on the board. Albert's 43rd. He has knocked in three of his four Sox runs tonight. Has 129 on the season. Our Dodge drive of the game. Here's Graham Lloyd, the third pitcher for Joe Torre tonight. Whoa. 39 games, 2 0, 1 3 6 earned run average. 17 strikeouts in 33 innings, 21 hits, and just five walks. So he has certainly done his job in that Yankee bullpen. Robin one for two, a single and a walk. Hits that ball hard. Martinez bobbles and controls. Lloyd right where he should be. So one, two, three inning for the Yankee relievers will go to the eight. Good guys on top by one. Southwest Airlines, with fares so low, you have the freedom to go places and do things you never thought possible. Fly Southwest Airlines. Here we are, Shorty. Let's get down to the dirty work. You know, your grandma doesn't think we could do this. But what does she know? What's this? You don't let them put that on you, do you? Is that the way that goes? Where are those pins? Ah. Southwest Airlines low senior fares give people 65 and over the freedom to go, see, are. and in some cases do things they've never done before. Great googly moogly. years, Bib the Michelin Man has symbolized our never-ending quest to invent the best tires in the world. Michelin, celebrating 100 years of innovation. Occasionally, time flies even faster than usual, like during the Dodge Summer Clearance, where for a limited time, Dodge Neon comes with $1,500 cash back, reducing your price to under $10,500 on this fun-to-drive car. Or instead of cash back, select exceptionally low 1.9 financing, which also means substantial savings. But whichever neon offer you choose, please hurry while time is still on your side. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. So so. Oh, doubt about that, baby. McGuire. And that's not coming back. Chasing history. See you later. The stretch run for 61. We are there. Fox Sports News. Weeknights. Check local listings. We are into the top of the eighth inning. Sox with two in the first, one in the third, one in the fifth. Yankees with one in the third and two in the fourth. Defensive change for the Sox. Mike Cameron moves into center field for Jeff Abbott and a new pitcher, Wimpy. Chad Bradford comes out to work. The eighth inning here in 17 games, he's 2 0 with a 1 4 5 ERA. 11 hits allowed in 18 and two thirds. He's walked just two while striking out seven. So he has done quite a job, and his job is to keep this man off base right now. Chuck Knobloch, and he'll be followed by Derek Jeter and then Paul O'Neill. Knobloch has popped up to right, popped up to second. Was caught looking, so another fine job by the Southpaw Mike Sorotka. Two run homer by Bernie Williams, solo shot by Shane Spencer. Mike, give three runs, six hits, one walk, had seven strikeouts. Now field around to the right, gap in left center. There's a high chopper. Norton's got to come in. He can't make the tag. So the leadoff infield single by Knobloch. That's a tough play right yeah, there. You know, look at Bradford right here. Chad falling off to the third base side, makes a good pitch. Norton comes on. 
And it was almost like Bradford was blocking his path to make that tag right there. He's got to go around the pitcher and had no chance. Well, you can't get it on that no. play. It's just that simple. Yeah. He can't throw it to Bradford if Bradford's got to turn around and get it. Knobloch's going to beat him in the bag anyway. He's not going to be able to make a tag. So trouble of brewing for the Sox here in the top of the eighth inning as Derek Jeter. He's over three. A grounded a Caruso. He bounced back to the pitcher and he struck out. Takes that fastball. The sinker inside. Knobloch has 26 stolen bases in 38 attempts. Yankees can run as well. They have 137 thefts. Sox have 106. If you recall the first part of the year, Yankees were not hitting any home runs. They were just stealing bases to win ball games. Yeah, playing really good situational baseball. There's a good strike. Sox have 163 home runs. The Yankees have 179. Outfield playing Jeter just about the same shape as they were not blocked. There goes not blocked. Cooter, the throw. Thought they had a shot at it. Well, now black, you see the crossover step. He looks to see if the ball was put into play, and then the head first slide. And you see with Bradford's submarine motion, takes a little bit longer to get the home play. Cooter rushes his throw. Brewster with a good pick, but he can't put the tag on in time. So now Jeter will be trying to take it to the right side. He's got a good count. Two and one. Should be a strike. He gets the job done and gets himself a base hit. Knobloch's going to score. And this ball game is tied at four. what that speed will do for you. Knobloch beats out the little infield single. Steal second comes home on a good situational hitting by Derek Jeter. Fastball just inside outs it. Worst thing that can happen he gets the runner to third with one out. Right there he gets a base hit as it sneaks through the infield. Paul O'Neill will be the hitter. Little chopper. Huh. Or things like that just eat you alive. Nothing you can do is Nardi Contreras comes out to talk with Bradford. Activity down in the Sox pen. Nardi Simmons has had that full abdominal muscle. Now, while we have a moment, fans, you can get the cap to pros wear and meet Minnie Minoso or Minoso. Wednesday, September 16th, when he signs autographs from 7 to 30 at the New Era Cap Corner in Comiskey Park. New Era Cap Corner is located in the left field corner of the main concourse. Thanks, Minnie. O'Neill is two for three tonight. A double, a single, and he has scored a run. Still nobody out. Now you got a problem with Jeter. 25 stolen bases and 31 attempts. Pretty good lead. So a little twixt in twain. O'Neill against the right-handed sinker baller. And you get that hole between first and second. And all of a sudden you combine the factor of Jeter's speed. That's a tough spot. Real tough spot. Yeah, you could put a, any kind of play on right now. The stolen base would be great, so would the hit and run. But 
Plus, you get one of the best hitters in the league oh, yeah. at the plate. You know, I'm surprised at that. Unless he was just dead looking away. Seldom ever swings at a pitcher's pitch on the first pitch of the sequence. I think he may have been just looking down. He could, well, certainly he's looking down, you know that. Oh, Bradford. And that pitch is a little bit low. So the count evens at one. looking away off of him. We talk about certain guys can stand off the plate or stand closer to the plate. A lot of times veteran hitters they won't give what they're trying to do away. They will cheat mentally rather than physically. Now if that's the case the ball has to be for an example in this particular scenario with O'Neill it has to be away if you're cheating mentally. Oh boy, don't let him think you've forgotten about him. See, Paul O'Neill is hitting profile. He loves the ball out over the plate. He has good power to all fields. You got to pitch this guy inside to get him out with any kind of consistency. Got a good pitch to hit right there. I feel really spread out. Another reason why O'Neill is so effective, he can pull, he can go to center, he can go to left, and he can go all three places very hard. What's the location right here? He gets his sinker up. Thigh high from a sinker ball like Chad Bradford is up. He just golfs that one into center field right at Cameron. He's there and it's out number one. Good pitch by Bradford. He made O'Neill make the adjustment there made him change and reroute his bat. Yeah he did. He still almost smoked it in the gap. Just a good hit. Oh, watch watch really him good. right here. Commit away now all of a sudden. Has to change and still hits a line shot. So that'll be all for Chad Bradford as Jerry Manuel comes out. A break in the action, and we'll be back to tell you about Billy Seamus. Rise and shine. Fox Sports News this morning with highlights, scores, plus the Fox Sports News Live. Woo! Got 30 minutes? We've got your sports. Fox Sports News this morning, weekdays starting at 6.30. Hey, you want a great deal? Every Monday at Comiskey Park, all Sox tickets are half priced. Now, that doesn't mean you get half a seat. It means that all tickets at Comiskey Park for every Monday home game are half priced. So that means you get two for one, three for one and a half, four for two. Seventy-four for the price of thirty-seven. Victory dance or sudden death. Uh. The ultimate fan league coming to Fox Sports Net. We are back at Comiskey Park. It's a 4-4 tie here in the top of the eighth inning. One out as Billy Seamus. Working now in his 50th game. 4-3-17 saves. 2-4-8. He has his earned run average. He has given up 38 hits in 58 innings. That's real good. 17 walks and 46 strikeouts for the right-hander. And 
Bernie Williams hit a homer from the right side of the plate against Mike Sorotka. Fastball right where he likes it. Out over the plate, he got those long arms extended. So here we go. Bit of a gap in left center as Cameron almost straight up and right. A couple of steps over towards Mags Ordonez. Williams hitting it 340. Leading the American League. There goes Jeter. Boy, he had a jump. Can they get it? No. Ball gets away in the center field. He's going to try third. Cameron is there. And he will make it. So it'll be a stolen base. Arrow. On Cruder. Boy, Jeter is so quick. Chad Cruder has to rush the throw. It's in the dirt. Crusoe can't come up with it. Look at those quick feet. Jeter able to get back up. And scoot on into third base. A big play with one out. Infield in. Chases a high one. One and one to count. off that high fastball. Boy, what a balance they got. Right-handed, left-handed, switch hitters. Three and one to count. 4 8 no for the Yankees, 4 6 and 1 for the Sox. That'll get the job done. That's deep in the right center field. Cameron looks up. And you can put it on the board. A two run homer for Bernie Williams. And it's a 6 4 Yankee lead. that one I didn't think it was going out and it was certainly enough to get that run in wow he looked like he just muscled that one out of here as we talked about one of the most underrated players in the American League especially when the money's on the line yeah that pitch was up. He really got his hands up above that ball and drove it out of here. Whew. That ball hit deep in the right center. Cameron back looks up and you can put this one on the board. Back to back home runs by Williams and Martinez. And it's a 7 4 ball game. These guys can grab you quick. See where Tino just goes down and gets that one. Little bend with the knees, makes that contact out front, and it is out of here. He has really become a good fastball hitter over the last few years. That's his 25th homer. He's now driven in 107. Well, that was not a fastball, though. He went down and got a splitter. Here's the switch hitting catcher, Jorge Posada. He's 0 for 3 tonight. Takes first pitch strike. So Williams now with 23 homers, 87 knocked in. Tino, 25 homers, 107 driven in. 
O'Neill with 101 driven in. 0 and 2 the count. All started with that little chinker. As he's gone by Knobloch. Castillo losing it. Here's Chad Curtis. Glad deep to right, line hard to center. And he popped up to center. Jeff Abbott made a nice catch. Ball hit hard in the center, but Cameron's got the beat on this one. He's there, hauls it in. And that'll retire the side, but a four spot put on the board by the Bronx Bombers. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. They lead it by three. disagreement with my friend Jim about Scotty. 16. It's 17. 16. He said 16 and he can poop it right now with three-way calling from Ameritech. Right in the middle of our conversation, he goes click, dial, click, and I hear. Scotty. Would you mind telling me your shoe size? My shoe size? 16. So I say, no fair. He says, sure it is. Everybody's got three-way calling on their line already. No, it is unfair that you are friends with Mr. Eight-time All-Star. Well, it's six then. It's eight. No, six. Nine. Eight. Six. Eight. eight. Three-way calling from Ameritech. Just click. Academy Award-winning entertainment is on Media One Pay-Per-View. Goodwill Hunting gives movies a good name. This boy's genius is on parallel. I've never seen anything like it. Winner, Best Original Screenplay and Best Supporting Actor, Robin Williams. I need someone who can get through to them, like me. Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, Minnie Driver. I love you. You'll love this movie at home on Pay-Per-View. Let's let the healing begin. Goodwill Hunting. Media One Pay-Per-View delivers quality entertainment right to your home. You can advertise in the newspaper, but your message may not get delivered. You can advertise on the radio, but what you say may not be heard. But if you really want to reach out and grab them, take them to the edge and watch your business soar. Advertise on local cable on the Sci-Fi Channel. There is no other destination. Together, we will deliver. White Sox Baseball on Fox Sports Chicago. Fox Sports Chicago's coverage of Chicago White Sox Baseball is brought to you in part by Southwest Airlines. With fares so low, you have the freedom to go places. The new Dodge. From cars to minivans to trucks, it's about change. The new Dodge. Discover Car. It pays to discover. Accepted where you see the Nova sign. And by Geico Direct. The sensible alternative. Seven four New York. Here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Oh, they came up with a four spot in the top of the eighth. The Sox have to battle back right here. New pitcher for the Yankees is Ramiro Mendoza. Thirty three games, eight and two, one save, three two five ERA. He's done a fine job. 114 hits and 113 and two thirds, giving up just 23 walks, 45 strikeouts. Good sinker slider combination. So here's Norton. First pitch, strike on the fastball. Change. Good job. Whoa. Had him way out in front. Turns that one over and he fouls it off. And Sox fans, the 98 season may be coming to a close, but you can still catch your favorite Sox players during the offseason at Sox Fest 99. It features a weekend full of fun with baseball memorabilia booths, question and answer sessions, and autographs. Come meet Sox players, coaches, broadcasters, and White Sox legends. It's all at Sox Fest 99, January 29th through the 31st at the Hyatt Regency Chicago. Tickets and hotel packages go on sale November 2nd. For details, call 312-674-1000. Sox Fest, baseball's best. Last one, Duke. <laughs> I'd like for that one to be a little bit longer, please. I thought I was reading War and Peace. 
Three and two on Norton. Leading off the bottom of the eighth. Oh, turns that one over, misses. El Duque walks six. <laughs> Graham Lloyd, what do he do? Throw one pitch? He's got a chance to be the winning pitcher here. Yeah, those six he walked, though, El Duque, only one score. Pretty amazing. So here's Cameron, Sox trailing by three. more base runners on them. The worst thing that can happen is that Albert Bell will hit in the ninth. Get a shot at him. Has that pitch, sinker up high and in. Mendoza wants another ball. Mendoza has good control, but still in this situation, you just have to be really, really selective at the plate. You cannot help him out. He jammed him. Jeter's going to make this catch. And one gone. Left-hander Mike Stanton warming up in the Yankee bullpen. Mags Ordonez. He's over to a walk and a couple of flyouts. Mags hitting at 281. Cruder on deck. One out here in the bottom of the eighth inning. There's a shot. Base hit up the middle. He got a sinker upstairs, so the Sox have the tying run at the plate. As Chad Cooter steps up. Chad's over two tonight with a walk. Number 28 for Chad. That sinker going down and away just a little bit, and a nice piece of hitting right there by Cruder going with it, not trying to get greedy and pull. So a meeting at the mound. Posada will be joined by Brocious and Tino Martinez. We've got a 7-5 ball game. Sox keep battling back here. And the top of the order coming up. So Albert will hit. Hopefully this inning. Come on, Ray. Here comes Joe. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Well, let's see. Durham has been a better right-handed hitter this year. As you look at Mariano Rivera, the closer, joining Stanton. And it's going to be Mike Stanton. He'll come out to pitch to Durham and probably Caruso, and they'll bring in Mariano for the big hurt. So a break in the action here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Our Maritech called the pen. We'll be for Mike Stanton, and we'll be right back. It's a rite of autumn. The countdown to glory starts with the opening whistle. Let the games begin. Anything you can do, I can try, too. 
Fox Sports Chicago has you covered for every shot, pass, lap, serve, goal, stroke, takedown, and more. Tom Waddle hosts IHSA Sportsnet, bringing you the future of local sports now. Save that for a highlight reel. Premieres September 13th on Fox Sports Chicago. Tommy? Yeah? Becky Swanson's big brother says monsters live under a little kid's bed. Becky Swanson's brother is dumb. Besides, lights scare monsters away. Well, um, Tommy, he says they live in closets, too. These boys warded off countless monsters for nine straight hours. <laughs> Calm Ed, what do you do with your power? As you look at the moon over Comiskey, tonight on Fox Sports News, Chasing Maris, we're going to have highlights of Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire, Kevin Maris interview, the son of Roger. And Steve Stacks with the Fox Scope. All coming your way on Fox Sports News after tonight's ball game. But the Sox battling back here in the bottom of the eighth inning. And they'll face a new pitcher in Mike Stanton. Stanton, wow, 55 games, four and one, six saves, a 6-1-4 ERA. 62 hits in 66 innings. He can strike you out, 59, to go with 23 walks. So Durham will bat right-handed, where he's hitting 306 on the season. So Romero Mendoza gets one out, gives up a run. Two runners on base are his responsibility. Stanton's ready. And so's Ray. Durham is one for four, a single. He has a stolen base tonight. Currently hitting at 288. Now field shades ready to hit the opposite way. There's a big gap in left center. Spencer way off the line and left also as that first pitch curveball dropped over. Good pitch by Stanton. So Durham immediately in the hole. Cubs wind up beating the Pirates. Stay in first place in the race for the National League wild card. They won five to two at Three Rivers. Hardy on the fastball. So it's 0 and 2. Well, Ray's in that protect mode now at home play. Just got to fight it off. Look away and adjust anything inside. Fastball jammed him. He just did get a piece of that one. That's a good pitch. Good pitch by Stanton. A good job by Ray to fight it off. Jim Brusky. Bring in Jim. Give Mariano the rest of the night off. Ball grounded foul. Another good pitch by Stanton. Yeah, my God. That 
Curveball misses, so Ray lays off that one down and away. Still a good effort by Stanton right there trying to backdoor him. Yeah, after throwing that inside fastball. Yeah, somebody on 0-2 bust you inside with a good fastball and you fight it off and all of a sudden they backdoor you with a curveball, you got almost no chance. No, no. That fastball misses down and away, so Ray works it to even, two and two. Caruso on deck. Stanton really made a nice sequence of pitches right here to Durham. There's that fastball up over the outside corner. He just could not lay off of it. When you're in a tech mode right there, and you've seen some good pitches like that. You get the fastball up near your eyes. It's closer to the eyes, so it looks good. It's just tough to lay off of. Yes, it is. He made some quality pitches. Now, here's Caruso. Mike won for four. He has scored a run. And Stanton really taking a long time to hook up with a sign with Posada. But Caruso steps out. many pitches. Russo fouls that one off at home plate. Jose Cardinal on top of that front step directing his outfielders against Caruso. One coming inside with the fastball. <laughs> Stanton started off with the Braves, had a great first half of a season. Slumped off, has been traded a few times as Caruso oh, man. just misses that first baseline that could have possibly scored two. Yeah, especially with Mike hooking the ball in the corner and he'll way off the line. That was really close. Two. Off the end of the bat. Wide of third. Two outs and runners in scoring position, Mike. Very effective over 300. Frank Thomas waiting in the on deck circle. He will not face Stanton. 
one two curveball got a nice pitch good job by Stanton wow gets the two men he faces Sox put one on the board but we go to the ninth with New York leading seven five this week on Bulls Sox Underground, the home run record is broken. The White Sox home run record, that is, by our own Bell Ringer. Some Sox alumni and staffers take the day off from baseball for a trip to the softball diamond. The kids are headed back to school, and the Sox will give some lessons in baseball fundamentals. And what's easier, hitting a baseball or a golf ball? All that we can review and much more on Bulls Sox Underground. Sunday at 11.30 on Fox Sports Chicago. intrepid styling speaks for itself as for what's underneath car and driver had a few words of their own get a well-equipped intrepid for just over 20,000 Zero pressure Michelin. So revolutionary it won't go flat. Even with the puncture the size of a golf ball. Letting you drive up to 50 miles at 55 miles per hour. Just what you'd expect from Michelin. This copyrighted telecast of Major League Baseball may not be retransmitted, reproduced, or rebroadcast without the express written consent of the Chicago White Sox and Fox Sports Chicago. Here's our White Sox upcoming schedule. Tomorrow, which is Saturday the 5th, we'll play the Yankees at 6 o'clock Central Time. And then on Sunday, a day game at 1. Then the Detroit Tigers come in. Sunday's game will be on WGN. And then the Tigers, all three of those ball games will be on Fox Sports Chicago. Sox go to Cleveland for a weekend series. And then on the 14th, we will be at Detroit. So the schedule schedule for the Sox, and here's the new White Sox pitcher, Carlos Castillo, coming out to work for the 47th time. He's 6-4, a 4.83 earned run average. 87 and two-thirds. He's given up 77 hits, 30 walks, and 54 strikeouts. Shane Spencer will lead it off. He is two for two, a homer, a walk, and a single. First pitch, breaking ball high from Castillo. 7-10-0 and 0 for the Yankees, 5-8-1 and 1 for the Sox. The Yankees with a big four spot in the eighth inning. Watch out. I think everybody's all right. They yeah, got him on the arm. Better the arm than the youngster sitting next to him. Ouch. I'm gonna take him over another bat. Thanks to Tim Raines. There's a strike on the outside corner. And the count one and two. Through the outside, curve ball. Got it up a bit, but Spencer couldn't do anything with it. Watch out. <laughs> nice play by one of the fans. Checking some finals for you. Cubs beat the Pirates 5 to 2 at Three Rivers. Cleveland over the Tigers 10 to 2 in Detroit. 12 1 Blue Jays over the Red Sox at Skydome. 9 3, that's a final. Rangers over the Twins down in Texas. Baltimore leading Seattle three nothing is that jammed him popped him up. Long way to go for everybody. Nobody's going to be able to get there. Good effort by Norton and Ordonez. Baltimore three Seattle nothing top of the fourth at the Kingdome. Kansas City leading the Angels two nothing. That's in the top of the fourth that big Ed. Tampa Bay two Oakland one top of the second at the Coliseum. 
Montreal shuts out the Fighting Fish eight to nothing down at Pro Player Stadium. Mets over the Braves two to one at Shea. Phillies beat the Brewers six to two at County Stadium. Cincinnati three, St. Louis two. That's the final from Bush Stadium. High pop up. This one is playable. Norton. Didn't do what I think it did, did it? No. Uh, no. It no, it didn't spot. pull a, a Pachorik. You get him right on the beanie, right on the top of the head. I'll tell you one thing. When you start <laughs> bad pedaling, you are in deep trouble. That's all I can tell well, you. Well, it was just a real, even though the ball was real high, it was still a tough chance because he had a long way to go for it. Yeah. Once you go from sideways to back pedaling, you're dead meat. Yeah, the you got some big problems. So the count hangs on your two. heels. No. One. So as Cooter goes out to Tower Castillo, we'll check some other partials for you in the National League. Top of the sixth inning at Coors Field. Rockies leading the Padres 5 to 4. Bottom of the third in Los Angeles. 6 0. Dodgers over the Giants. And Arizona lead. Houston 3 to 1. That's in the bottom of the fourth at Big A. This one's playable, and this one will be caught. Mags. <laughs> I love to watch Greg Morton. You never know what's going to happen. Oh, well, he's all over the place. Oh, yeah. guys like that is Scott Brosia stands in fouls that breaking pitch back he's one for three and pop up the second a single and a strikeout and once again a reminder our next game coming away right here on Fox Sports Chicago will be tomorrow night be the game room at 530 followed by the Sox and the Yankees at six Jim Abbott 30 year old Southpaw will be opposed by the 26 year old Southpaw from New York Andy Pettit Sunday afternoon in finale, James Baldwin against Hideki Arabu. So make your plans to be with us at the ballpark the next couple of days. In fact, it's a good pitching matchup, some international flavor. There's tomorrow's starter, Andy Pettit. Boy, he gives the Sox nothing but fits. Yeah, he's good pitching. We understand he can't get Baltimore out. That pitches inside. Go figure. We're nine and two against Baltimore this year. Pettit beats us. Pettit can't beat Baltimore. Caruso, I don't know. What a play by Caruso! Mercy. Wow. Yeah, the thing about this is Brocious is out in front of this breaking ball, so he got a good jump to first base, and Mike nails him. Brocious gets down the line very quickly. Look at the strong throw. My goodness, that's an outstanding play. That'll make a lot of highlight reels. Here's Knobloch. He started off at 4 run 8 with just a chopper. To the right side, Norton came in, had no chance to make a tag. He beat it out. Bada bing, bada bang. Four runs. Her ball low. 2-0 the count. There's a good fastball strike. Also, if you're just coming home and by chance did not hear. And a Cub 5-2 victory over the Pirates. Sammy hit number 57. There's a base hit. So now 
Knobloch, who stole his 27th base last inning. He'll be looking to run right here. Jeter had a good at bat last inning. Not block at second. Nobody out. And tried to get him over. Meanwhile, he did. Got himself a base hit to center field. Bad one in the count, nothing in one. Jeter hitting at 334 as he stands up there. That is second in the league, only behind his teammate, Bernie Williams. That's off the end of the bat, souvenir right side. Well up in the count, nothing in two. There he is. 33 saves. Hard throwing right hand on Mariano Rivera. He'll be in there. As you're looking at the Sox tonight. Thomas Bell Ventura. That should be enough. I think you're right. Now block might be off right here. No, he is not. Curve ball. Good try by Carlos. Good eye by Jeter. Now feel straight up and spread out. Somebody better hurry. Cameron now sees the situation. They're going to wave him around. Here's the throw. Turner tried to grab it too quick. Now Block will score. Good throw by Cameron. Turner just tried to get it and tag him too quick. He had a little more time. Yes, he did. Mike came up throwing, picking it up with his bare hand. And there you see, he's got him dead to right. Just took his eye off it at the last second. So, that'll be an error on Kruder. Coming on, and we'll be back. The new Fox Family Channel is giving it all away. Win $100,000 for your dream house, a Florida vacation, or over a thousand other prizes. It's the Getaway House Giveaway. Here's how to win. Pick up your entry form at Wendy's, and while you're there, try the freshest taste around, fresh stuffed pitas. Find the mystery character in one of our new shows, 
Write it down and mail it in. Play to win in the Getaway House Giveaway. Hurry, the giveaway's gone September 15th. Go to Wendy's today and watch Fox Family Channel. Camping again. It's so boring. For camping year-round that you and your kids will love, visit Fitzpatrick's Yogi Bear Jellystone Park Camp Resort in Millbrook, Illinois, just 50 miles west of Chicago. Call for information and reservations. 1-800-GET-YOGI. That's 1-800-438-9644. Now that's camping. Can we come again soon? Here's Scott Ayer, the new pitcher for the Sox. 29 games, 2-7, and seven, a 5-4-4 earned run average. 106 hits allowed in 101 innings. That's not bad, but the 64 walks is very high. 65 strikeouts. Well, his job right now is to get Paul O'Neill, get the Sox in there, and get four runs in the bottom of the ninth inning. But that is not going to be easy as Mariano Rivera undoubtedly will be coming in to pitch the bottom half of that inning for the Yankees. Sox got on the board first. They put two on the board in the first inning on a two-run homer by Albert Bell. Yankees came back with one in the third. On the solo homer by Shane Spencer. Sox scored in the bottom half of the third inning. Albert Bell had a sack fly. Then the fourth, Bernie Williams had a two-run homer. Sox took the lead back in the fifth inning. Sacrifice fly by Jeff Abbott. And then in the eighth, the Yankees put four on the board, highlighted by another two-run homer by Bernie Williams. Tino Martinez also homered in that inning. So a lot of battling back tonight yeah. for the Sox. Yes, it has been as Paul O'Neill stands in. It's two for four, a double, a single, a run scored. Ball gets away from Cooper. Well, Derek Jeter moves into third. outside. Now field playing O'Neill straight up. Ball hitting at 316. 9-5 ball game. They would Paul O'Neill is pretty sure that a fastball is coming. He is going to get some kind of swing on it. He really unloads on this one. Just a rocket. Well, he's short and quick, leading with that right elbow on the inside fastball from Scott Ayer. Here's Bernie Williams. Oh, night he's had check swing strike on the curveball. Fourth inning. Four two homers, four RBIs, and homering from both sides of the plate in the same game is pretty amazing. There's a fastball strike, 0 and 2. And you're looking at our Carter Lumber, Lumberman of the game, right now with 23 long ones and 87 driven in. 9 13 and 0 for New York, 5 8 and 2 for the Sox. him up. Durham, a long way to go. Max can't get there. Falls in. <laughs> well, the Yankees they put six runs so far in the last two innings up. Four and eight, two so far here in the ninth. Yeah. 
Tino course. Martinez, the first baseman, he's one for four. Cranked out his 25th homer last inning. Four straight hits after two are out. And they have not really been impressive hits either, aside from the liner off the bat of O'Neill. Two balls, no strikes. Good rip right there. It's a 2 0 fastball. Baltimore now leading the Mariners 6 0. Bottom of the fourth inning at the Kingdom. Baltimore trying to break a 10 game losing streak. Three and one the count. Foul back. So Williams will be off. Just one more home stand after this one. There goes Bernie. The ball slicing. Trouble. Comes O'Neill. Comes Williams. Two-run double by Tina Martinez. It's 11-5. All coming with two on, nobody out. And a tag play at home where the guy was going to be dead out. Four runs have scored. You may not see Mendoza. See the fastball? Inner half, just inside outs it. Boy, Tino, he hangs in there very tough against left-handers. Two more RBIs. He's, uh, two out, nobody on. Posada. Jorge 0 for 4 tonight with the three strikeouts. 11-15-0 for the Yankees, 5-8-2. Started off. Spencer fly to Ordonius. Great play by Caruso to get Brosius. Single by Knoblock, single by Jeter. That scored Knoblock. Scored O'Neill by Kruger. O'Neill a single. Williams, two run double. By Tino. Ryan Ward. He's looking to become the quickest club to reach 100 victories in American League history. Breaking ball down and in. 1906 Cubs did it. The fastest in Major League history. He's gone. Well, the fourth time out of Norton, but four in the eighth, four here in the top of the ninth. Yankees lead it by a half a dozen. We are here. We are there. You are everywhere. He's on fire. From morning to prime time. Get the first word, the last word, and everything in between. It's all this fall on Fox Sports Chicago. Home teams, Fox Attitude. There's an island where the water's
tears are still, where the only thing you have to do is lie on your back, watching the waves rush in and out all day long, and where you'll need to go to recover. After you return from our trip, enter the Heineken Seek a True Adventure sweepstakes, and you can win a trip to Costa Rica, Thailand, Mexico, or South Africa. And while you're at it, you might want to book your recovery vacation. Bring the whole family to a White Sox game on select Friday and Saturday nights, and not all the fireworks will be on the field. Stay after the game and enjoy a spectacular fireworks display. Come on, everybody. Let's practice and make sure we get it right. After me. One, two, three. Whoa. One, two, three. Ah. Inning and a reminder, the producer and director for Chicago White Sox Baseball on Fox Sports Chicago is James A. Angio. The associate producer is Dave Ross. Our assistant director is Kathy Mundy. Our stage manager is the mayor, Joe Groove, and our production manager is Moheen Ramsey. All right. It's the bottom of the eighth inning. And Mariano Rivera is trying to come out. Close this thing out for New York. 46 games, 3-0, 33 saves, 153 earned run average. He's good. 38 hits in 53 innings, 12 walks. His control is very good. He has only 29 strikeouts. But you just don't center the ball off this guy. He is excellent. Are those Yankee fans? Perhaps. a lot of Yankee fans here. <laughs> they have had quite a season. Unbelievable. Big Frank will lead it off. He'll be followed by Bell and Ventura. Frank doubled in the first, he scored. He walked in the fifth, he scored. It's one for three tonight. The ball hit high and deep in the center field. Curtis goes back on the track. If you're scoring along with us, the pitchers are record in this ball game. Green Lloyd, Chad Brent. Yeah. Albert one for three, a two run homer. He also had a sacrifice fly. 43 homers, 129 driven in. Setting up inside that fastball misses. <laughs> Two and oh, the count. Actually, the past three or four weeks on the inside fastball to get away from the check swing when you're standing close to the plate because there's a shot. That's a base hit. That's a double. That's going to be number 41. And Albert still with a now a real good chance of 50 50 again. Darn right. Well, he just muscles this one in that gap. <laughs> Take a look. This one a bit out over the plate. A cutting action on the Rivera fastball. Albert, you can see how 
walked out of that batter's box thinking double from the get-go. But you know what he's doing, Wimpy, to stay away from the check swing? Because as I mentioned, when you're standing close to the plate, especially against a right-handed pitcher, you have a tendency to have a lot of check swing strikes call on you. What he's doing is, instead of bringing his arms forward, he's going up with it. That's a nice approach. Yeah. Here's Robin. He can do it. Yeah. There's a off the glove of Nabla. Another play he should have had. So Albert coming around. He will score. That's 11 6. That's two tonight. Almost carbon copy. Take another look. Robin does not hit it hard. It's a jam shot. And he overruns it. Almost hit, like he started his jump too early. Here's Norton. It's a pretty good fastball right there, but it's upstairs. This jam pops him up, foul territory, Brocious over by the tarp. Two gone. Strike on the inside corner. Jim Abbott against Andy Pettit tomorrow night. Game room at 530. Well, the Sox and the Yankees at six. Is that pitch on the inside corner and a quick 0 and 2 count. There's Abbott. They tell us he's been throwing the ball well. We'll find out tomorrow. He's going to face the best in the business. And the Yankees. Slider no. Anything about the Yankees? To be a an outstanding ball club, you have to have depth. They've got that. Got him on the outside corner. So this ball game is over as the Yankees come in. They break the Sox four game winning streak. Very competitive game up until the eighth and ninth when the Yankees scored eight times. Four and eight, four and a ninth. And Wimpy, for the first time in a long time, the bullpen. Well, a couple plays could have been made to turn things around. Well, that's really true, Hawk. You know, the Yankees are such a dominating team all season long, and they catch a few breaks. You know, a lot of balls, uh, they, they use their speed to score those four runs in the eighth inning, put those runners in motion. They open up a few extra holes. So, you know, they're just an outstanding team, and that when, when the chips are down, they came through in the clutch. They've got a great ball club, and certainly congratulations on their 100th victory of the season. All right, the Yankees win at 11 to 6, and a reminder, be sure and join us tomorrow when the Sox host these Yankees from Comiskey Park. Game is at 6 with a game room at 5.30. Coming up next, Fox Sports News. So, for my part, Tom Petrick, our producer, director, Jim Angio. This is Ken Harrelson. So long, everybody. You have been watching Chicago White Sox baseball coverage on Fox Sports Chicago, your home of Fox Sports Net. This is my life. I have five kids. Maggie, Katie, Molly, Aaron, and Ryan. I want to be a lawyer, but there aren't any law schools where I live. So twice a week, after I get the kids off to school, I go to law school in another state. Southwest has lots of flights, so I get back in time to tuck my kids into bed. Hey, for ingenuity. My kids take the bus to school. I take the plane. You are now free to move about the country. Home, home.